Hey guys, it is Grant or Delta G here, and wow, now I'm just admiring the ocean in Minecraft, because I don't ever see anything like this quite here where I live. Well, anyway, all Minecraft generated oceans aside, look at the house! It's coming along nicely. This is a little fountain I built here using stone bricks. This is the first thing I've ever built using stone bricks, and I gotta say, it turned out nicely. Um, if you guys want me to, I will post, I can post a tutorial video on how to do a fountain, but it was such a minor thing, I figured, you know, you really don't need it. Um, I finished up the roof, you can see how it really looks, how it really puts a nice emphasis on the house, hence why I do roofs like that. Um, but today, I am excited, because today we begin the interior decorating part of this. This is probably going to be at least three episodes, showing you guys how I go about decorating things from the interior. And I've decided that we're going to start kind of from the top down. Um, as I had discussed with you guys earlier, I am going to make this like a little reading area. Yeah, I'm going to put some bookshelves down. If you do these without a mod, you're going to be hating yourself. <laughs> um, basically what I'm just going to do with this area is you guys don't know how to make Minecraft chairs, I'm about to show you right now. Basically what I'm going to do with this area is just kind of make it a nice little, you know, home relaxation area. Of course, I made a stupid notch, decided not to stack signs. So what you do is that you take a stair, um, like that, you put it down, and then you put signposts on either side of it. And it kind of looks like a nice little chair or something like that. That's how I do my designs with that. I, I use the chair thing quite often. I believe there is some sort of plug-in you can have that can actually make you be able to sit on the chairs, and the game will recognize that it's a chair and you can sit on it. But um, I do not have that plug-in. I do not know how to get it. So, sorry about that. But anyway, um, let me think if there's anything. You know what I may, what I may do, um, a cool little thing that if you wanted to put torches down but don't really want to make it look conspicuous, I would put a fence post down. Like, I'm going to put one down right here, and right here, and then put some torches on top of it. So it just kind of, you know, brightens up the room like it's supposed to, gives nice little lighting, it looks nice too. Um, you know, this is my, this is my interior decorating skills coming out here. This is what I love the most about Minecraft. Let me think. Um, for this room here... I think I'm just going to put one chair in it. Uh, signs are down here again. I memorized where the things that I needed were important so I don't look a fumbling idiot like I did last time. And I always try to put a chest in the bedroom as well because, oh, crap. I always put a tr try to put a chest in the bedroom as well because, you know, that's where you want to store your personal belongings. It's out from the office because the office is kind of like a crafting space as well, I guess you could say in a way. And 1.8 chest. Ooh, opening and closing animation, how fancy. But anyway, um, you know, interior decorating, when it's kind of, and there's not really much going on in terms of floor space, is, um, you know, it's it's an easy thing to do. In fact, um, I should make a table here. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, new thing in beta 1.8, you can put pressure plates on top of fence posts. I'm going to show you what that kind of looks like. So it looks like there's only one in the middle. There's two right down here. So I'm just going to kind of... Oh! Oh. Drat. You know what? Um, never mind. <laughs> never mind on the table. That's going to go downstairs. I'm going to make this my little pool area. I'm going to show you guys how I do my pool table in Minecraft. A word of notice, if you do try to do this pool table without the mod, it is impossible. Um, I don't mean that it's hard to do, I mean it is actually impossible. For the simple fact that grass will not grow when it's indoors. It knows the blocks that, you know, a person has actually put down, and it will not grow. I tried it, um, when I didn't have the mod, and it just, it didn't work. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be frank, it didn't work. Um, so, you know, we have some signs here, we're gonna put them all around the grass, so it kind of covers up that it's looking like grass. You can still kind of tell that it is, but certainly not as obvious as before. Well, there you have it. There's how I make my Minecraft pool tables. And I think they um, a really nice, like, K 
casual touch, I guess you could say, to any type of room. Um, I'm trying to think about how I'm doing on time so far here. This is my second commentary of the day, so I'm not going to try and bore you guys. Um, why don't we decorate the office? This is something that will take really quickly. Um, how I decorate offices is that you can kind of... This is like the center block here. Yeah, this is kind of the center. So what you're going to want to do is put your chair right here. So then you're going to want to build out your desk kind of like so. This is going to be your Minecraft desk. Yeah, there we go. I always round off the edges because it just it adds more room that may be needed for, you know, other things. So then you're going to want to put this chair here. Again, my Minecraft chairs. I did not make these designs. This was someone else's work, but kind of adopted it because it looks really nice. Um, what I do with this space here is that I just put torches down. Kind of makes it look good. And um, that's about it for the office. Um, you can definitely put in, like, you know, a crafting table here or a storage chest if you'd like, or maybe you could expand this open a little bit and make it a li make a library bookshelf on it. But for now, that's fine. Um, for those of you questioning, no, I am not leaving the ground like this. It isn't that, do, changing the ground out is um, is just plain painful. So I'm just gonna do it right now for the kitchen because I think that's going to look really nice. If you have the Too Many Items mod, hold Shift and then select the Gold Tool because Gold Tools mine the fastest. You'd think Diamond did, but it doesn't, surprisingly. So what, oh. Oh, <laughs> this was area that I built over, um, so, you know, I could have more area space on the house. kind of surprised me for a minute. thought I was building on a cabin of some sort, but I'm not. Um... So, here we go, hang on. There we go. Um, for the kitchen, I am going to use cobblestone as the floor because a carpeted kitchen seems kind of odd. So I'm just going to put cobblestone down. It adds a nice little touch to it. Um, again, you know, you want to use the textures of the blocks to your advantage. Because um, that will definitely help you make it look different so it's not just kind of like one monotone feeling all throughout the entire house. Cause Nobody likes that, um, at least when you care about architecture and design as much as I do. I know that I don't like it. I try to avoid that monotone. Oh, drat. Drat. Anyway, so I'm going to put this in. I think I'm going to end up making this a longer video. I'm going to design the kitchen as well. So what I wanted to do with this, this is a concept kitchen that I've been planning for a while now. This is going to be a very open concept kitchen. I'm going to have two type two white wools here, because when you put those down, it actually kind of looks like a refrigerator, which is very fancy. Um, then you're going to want to get a couple furnaces, because you're going to want a lot of those if you're cooking for your friends. <laughs> then you're going to want a crafting table. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that'll do it. And then you'll put a... Ch Whoa. Oh, that's a locked chest. I, I was... I was taken by surprise there for a minute. I'm like, why is it lighting up? But anyway, um, so that is me designing the kitchen, pretty much. Um, if you want to, you can take that pressure plate idea I had and put down a couple of them just to kind of make them look like placemats. Like so. Um, actually, we're going to take a few more of these. There we go, because that's kind of like a bar part as well. And you can walk up and be like, I want this! And whoever's living here in this fabulous house will make it for you. Um, so I think that'll just about do it for this video. I showed you guys how to furnish up the upstairs. I showed you guys how to make the open concept kitchen, like the one right here. And um, I believe that'll be it for this video. Um, in the upcoming videos, I'm going to show you what to do with this big space here. This is going to be a nice little entertaining area. I'm going to build a fireplace on this wall. Um, that's going to be, have a big chimney that goes all the way up. It's just going to look nice. Um, you replace all the carpeting in the house. Um, oh, yeah, put something in the dining room over here. And then I'll do a final review of, of the house in a video. And that'll just about be it. So um, that'll do it for me today. I'm done posting commentaries. I posted two for you guys. i got to drag the series out. You know, come on. <laughs> um, oh, yes, as a quick topic of conversation... Um, when this house is done, I will not be ending the series, no fear. I'm actually going to take a comment from one of my subscribers, 
and um, I am going to do a series just basically DIY. You guys tell me what you want to see me build, and I will show you how to build it. Yeah. Um, it was a great idea. I forget the username of the person who told me. I don't think they have a channel that you might want to go check out, but... Um, Thank you so much for the idea, because that is definitely what I'm going to be doing for the next couple of series. So, um, Thank you all for watching. I appreciate your views, your comments, your rates, your subscribes, and I'm going to see you guys later. Keep building, guys.